what is an oral? While the oral is the examination that concludes your doctoral research journey, it can include some or all of the following. It's your opportunity to talk about and defend your thesis with expert academics in the field. It can also be a very stimulating academic conversation. Another way to view the oral is as a time for disseminating your findings. And of course, the oral represents the closure of the doctoral research journey and the beginning of your new way forward. It is certainly a milestone to celebrate when it's all finished. The entire examination process and determination of a final grade may take approximately three months. Examiners are asked to provide their written reports within eight weeks. All examiners' reports will normally be released to the student at a pre-meeting, one week prior to the oral examination. The reports will be anonymised. Normally, the oral examination will take place within one month of receipt of all examiner reports. Sometimes reports arrive late, so the oral date is tentative. The Graduate Research School communicates with the examiners and monitors the progress of their reports. Students may contact the GRS to inquire about the progress of the doctoral examination. When all examiner reports are received by the GRS, one week prior to the oral examination, a pre-meeting will be arranged. A convener will meet you and your supervisors. The convener takes responsibility for ensuring that the examination is fair to the student and follows AUT procedures. The role of the convener is to remain neutral, as they are not an examiner. After the pre-meeting, the student is given the anonymised examiner's reports. Each examiner addresses these criteria in the written report. The overall performance of the student in relation to peers on comparable programmes. The appropriateness of research methodology used. The student's original contribution to knowledge in his or her chosen discipline or field of study or practice. The depth and breadth of coverage of the subject matter concerned. The presentation of the thesis and the quality of the knowledge and skills, both general and subject-specific, demonstrated by the student. It's sensible to prepare yourself for the examination. Read through your thesis. Make yourself familiar with the components of your research. Mark up your thesis as it works for you. Prepare a short five to six minute presentation and practice this presentation. Ask yourself these questions. What contribution does your research make? What links the examiner's work to your research? Get a feel for their work by reading a publication. What's been happening in the field since you submitted your research? Be ready for the day. Work with your supervisors. Know how you will address examiners' concerns raised in their reports. Understand the process, timing, and location for the examination. What impression do you wish to make? Be ready with what to wear and what you need to take with you. Practice a mock oral with your supervisors. The examiners will be referring to four criteria in the oral examination. The student's contribution to knowledge in their chosen discipline or field of study or practice. The student's critical judgment and understanding the student's contribution in relation to any contributions from other sources to the thesis, and how well the student coherently and competently defends their thesis. Initially, the examiners and convener meet to talk about the examiner's reports and key issues or questions to be asked in the oral process. The student and supervisors wait in a separate room. Once the student and supervisors are invited into the room, introductions are made by the convener. The supervisors are observers only. The candidate will be asked to present an overview of why this is important research and its contributions to knowledge. Then the examiners will ask their questions. The examination is completed when all the key issues have been covered by the examiners. The questions will be around the what, why and how of the research. 
the contribution of the research is important. Where to next might be a question. Once all examiners have agreed that there are no further questions, the student and supervisors leave the room. The examiners and convener work through the examination decision. The student and supervisor rejoin the examination panel and are given the recommended outcome and any required amendments. The time frame for completion and who is to sign off the amendments will be explained. The convener completes a formal report for the University Postgraduate Board. The student receives the list of any amendments from the Graduate Research School. Any amendments must be completed in the required time frame. Final thesis copies are submitted and sent digitally to the library. Then it's graduation. If you'd like to learn more about the oral examination, you can attend our workshops, Preparing for your Doctoral Oral Examination and Presentation Skills for your Doctoral Oral Examination. Book online at elab.aut.ac.nz.